Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to make this video to discuss some crucial updates inside of Cydia that if you're already jailbroken and you've been jailbroken for a while, you will need to install. And I also wanted to discuss one of my absolute favorite tweaks inside of Cydia. So in order to update your jailbroken iDevice, it's extremely simple. This is a question that I'm frequently asked. You don't need to read jailbreak. All you have to do is just open up Cydia, let Cydia refresh, and if it doesn't refresh on its own, simply go down to the changes section in the bottom and then hit the the refresh button up in the top left hand corner and once you do that it will download all of the available packages including the updates and then the available ones will be listed at the top under the available upgrades section as you can see I have quite a few now first of all probably one of the most important updates is evasion 7.x untether now this includes security updates that were made widely available in the latest evasion 7 1.0.4 untethered utility. Now, because a lot of devices were already jailbroken on a previous version of Evasion, the evaders pushed this update inside of Cydia, so it's definitely a crucial update that you need to take advantage of if you haven't done so already. One of the other and more recent updates, though, is Substrate Safe Mode, and that was one of the primary reasons that prompted this video. Let me give you guys a quick demo of that on the second generation iPad Mini here. So I already have the Substrate Safe Mode update installed, and I'm just going to enter Safe Mode. I've set up a a custom activator action to where when I spread with four fingers on the display at the home screen it will go inside of safe mode and again this is just a demonstration to show you what safe mode is and how it's beneficial to your device so now that it's back up I'm just going to slide to unlock and I'm going to enter my passcode really quick okay so now that I'm back you can see I have a prompt here I'm not going to read it essentially it's just saying that it's sorry for the inconvenience but substrate crash so I'm just going to click OK to that it just gives you a very basic device when when you're inside of safe mode previously there was no way to distinguish whether you were inside of safe mode now it gives you a gray background and it also gives you the traditional exit safe mode message up at the top on the status bar all you have to do to return your device to its normally jailbroken state again is just tap exit safe mode and then tap restart to the prompt and it will just respring your device also keep in mind that when you're inside of safe mode you won't be able to use the majority of tweaks because it essentially disables everything that's built upon Cydia substrate and note that some packages that have yet to be updated for either your device or your firmware will cause it to enter safe mode on a regular basis. If that's the case, you will need to uninstall it. All you have to do is just go inside of Cydia. If you're on an iPad, go to the installed section. If you're on an iPhone or iPod touch, just go to the manage section and then packages, and then you'll be able to uninstall whichever package is causing the complication. So let me give you guys a really quick demo of how easy it is to update a package with Cydia. So just open Cydia, and once Cydia is open, you will be able to go down below to the changes tab like I had previously mentioned, tap refresh if you don't see any available updates, and then tap on upgrade in the top right hand corner. And then from there, all you have to do is tap confirm and it will install all available updates. From there, depending on what it had to install, it will either ask you to respring or reboot your device. In this case, because I just had to install the substrate safe mode update, it's just making me respring. And then from there, your device will boot back up again into its normal jailbroken state. So I'm just waiting on my iPhone to come back up here. And once it does, you will be able to unlock it and use it as you normally would. Keep in mind though that you will need to install updates if you haven't done so in a while because there are some pretty important ones, one of the most important being the untether update. Cydia Substrate and Cydia Safe Mode are also very important and New Curses is just an update from Saric. Just be sure to install all available updates and once you do so, you will be good to go. All right, now I'm going to give a demo of my favorite tweak available inside of Cydia. It's a premium tweak it's called video pane and essentially it enables true video multitasking on your iOS device when a video starts playing it doesn't matter what type of video it is and it doesn't matter where it is whether it's inside of mobile Safari or actually a video that's saved inside of your camera roll it essentially detaches the video from the main player so that you can perform other actions while actually watching the video and you can pinch to change the size you can also change the location of it and you can actually go anywhere while the video is playing additionally once the detached video is up you can tap on it you can scrub through the video you can pause play it you can make it full screen or you can air play it so this is an extremely convenient and simple tweak it's also very easy to exit you can simply swipe up 
up to close out of it, or you can tap on the X. I'm just going to swipe up, and as you can see, the video stops playing. And again, it works with any type of video. It also works very well on the iPad. I'm not going to give you guys a demonstration of that right now, though. All right, and of course, I hope you guys like this video. And if you see anything in it that interests you, such as the theme that I have running on my iPhone 5S, which is my absolute favorite theme, or any of the other tweaks that I utilized in this video, just be sure to check out either my top 10 Cydia tweaks video or my top free winter board theme video. I'll have links to both of those up on the screen now via annotations if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. Otherwise, just be sure to visit my channel. And if you guys want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card in this video, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos and jailbreak updates, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.